Showing you unique gold deposits is something I've always taken pride in. Everyone tells everyone to go look on the inside bender behind a boulder, but I'm here to show you something that's better. I've come to probably the most heavily worked section of Reedy Creek that there is, and it always surprises me what people overlook. This right here, to me, looks like not an original crevice, but gravel that was deposited an extraordinarily long time ago. First of all, we've got this beautiful old tree stump. And if we go down to the base of that tree stump, we can see a root system coming out and coming across here. Clearly, this is a long dead tree, but to have a root that big means that it's been there a while. So we know that this tree was growing on top of that ground for an extended period then of time. Then we've got this big piece of jutting out bedrock and a crevice next to it. Every man and his dog has come along and scratched this crevice out again and again and again, every time it's been exposed. It's been recently scratched out because there's other people's tailings in the area that show me that. But if we look here, we've got river gravels in the bank and those river gravels are underneath that old, old tree. And that means that the dirt underneath that tree root has not been disturbed for an extraordinarily long time. And just have a guess where the crevice goes. So, I got curious. I dug all the way down and I've exposed the crevice. Now if we get in here, this is the loose overburdened dirt, we don't care about that. But just here is packed tight gravels. That's bedrock just there, that's bedrock just there, and this, I wish I had a brush, are gravels that have not moved in a really long time. And you just wait until you see the coarse tin and coarse gold. Reedy Creek's gold is not normally coarse at all. So when you get it, you know you're in an older deposit. And that's especially true if there's this. This is high velocity quartz, really rounded off quartz pebbles. The only way that that can happen is when there's a high volume of water. More water than we have today on Reedy Creek. I got high velocity quartz, I got coarse tin, I got coarse gold in old ground. This has to be close to the time that the people walked off the gold fields in the gold rush. And everyone else around this entire area has missed it. Got a nice big crevicing hook here. We're just gonna start pulling these gravels out down into the crevice. I've tested the dirt around them and all of the loose dirt doesn't have anything of value in it. A couple of little fly poops. It's all been concentrated in this super packed crevice. Oh, look at that. These days it takes a lot to get me excited on Reedy Creek. This is old, old ground. That's that clay just there mixed in with, oh, how tight those rocks are in. <laughs> Plus, it's all high velocity quartz. Oh, I'm using all my strength to try and get that out. It's jammed in there. Man, there's going to be some nice pieces in here. There is going to be some nice pieces. Come on. Ah, victory. It's so freaking rare to get a crevice that's packed this tight. That's a little pebble just there. And I move one little pebble and if you can get it to move, this clay down the bottom takes everything with it. And I know, I know it's going to be full of gold. This is going to be really good. I can see bits of black sand. I can already see bits of black sand that I can pick up. Look at that. That is tin that I can just pick up off the ground. This is going to be loaded. I've been prospecting with my Garrett all day, but man, I'm loving my own little circle pans, so... We are going to, oh, look at the tin. Oh my God, that's solid tin. That is solid tin. Completely lost track of what I was saying, but we're gonna use the circle pan because it's a lot of fun and it's perfect for this. This is what it was made for. Sampling, crevicing, processing, small bits of dirt at a time. Ooh. Found you sink it right under, you let the bubbles come up, you give it a little gentle shake, that spreads it all out on the dish. If there's anything left in the middle, you kind of just break it up, you start to shake because by now all the gold has already settled into the ripples and you're just getting rid of the dirt. <laughs> Alright, that's the majority of the dirt gone. Oh, yeah, look at that. 
It's certainly no Bonanza City, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the fact that all of the gold is coarse, chunky pieces. That is not common for Reedy. And it's the same with the tin. The tin is also really good size. It's not fine flower stuff. A lot of this is the overburden. We've still got coarse tin. And we do have fine gold in there. Somehow, I have to get this super compacted gravel out. I need a pick, but I don't have one with me today. Oh, don't want to break this crevicing tool either. These, these types of crevices on Reedy Creek are ultra rare. Especially here. This this is hammered this spot. I literally stopped on my way home for a look. That'll learn me, won't it? It's just this big rock right here. Look how rounded that is. Oh come on. It's so close. Bigger than I thought it was, hey. Sure, that's on a few people's Tinder profile conversations now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, finally. That was hard to get out. The quartz down the bottom, it feels like you're on bedrock. And then you scratch it enough and it starts breaking up. I was just wondering if all the really good gold's on the bedrock at the very bottom or. Is it mixed in it? Because that first one wasn't that great, but I didn't really work the bottom. I reckon, well, the last pan, should I say. I don't know. I've still got there, a little bit of gold in there from last one. This will be, this will be telling. If there's good gold in this, it was closer to the bottom. I don't think we're even on the bottom yet. I'm really hoping we're going to see some quality pieces of gold this time. Oh, we got way, way more black sand. See, we got really coarse tin. We didn't have that much coarse tin in the last pan. Really? Oh, yeah, no, no, we got it. We got gold. It's not an amazing spec count, but still coarse pieces. to have a shovel and that might make things a little easier. I was not getting those out with the crevice Look at the size of some of the quartz that's jammed down there. Yeah most of that was overburdened. And we've still got black sand, but nowhere near as much. And from what I can see, only a couple tiny little nano dots. The best gold really is right, right down the bottom. In that clay. That gorgeous, delicious, ultra rare white channel clay. I wasn't even intending on filming a video today. Yet here we are. And this is just it. I like educating, I like teaching. And this is a perfect opportunity to show how if you just look carefully and spend a little bit more time than normal, you might find something that everyone else has missed. And if you want to see more gold prospecting content and learn more about how to find gold, consider hitting the subscribe button on my channel and turning on all notifications so you don't miss any more videos just like this one. Yeah, a couple, couple, couple little flakies. 
all good things eventually must come to an end and it looks like it's come to an end. Everyone's worked that. I only started working the crevice at this point here. Uncovered a whole bunch more of it. Got really nice compacted gravels. And then at this point here, the bedrock starts rising up and it seems to pinch out. There's no gold in this section. It was all down here. Nonetheless, the blue circle worked really well. And this is what I'd managed to recover from that tiny little bit of a crevice. You got to remember that this is in the most heavily worked section of Reedy Creek. And I managed to find a crevice that not only hadn't been touched, but was really old. So it hasn't been touched for a long time. We got coarse, chunky tin out of it. And the flakes that we did get were all really good size. Now, this isn't life-changing gold, but it was a hell of a lot of fun to dig up. And it was really easy to get. And that is what prospecting is all about. Coming out, exploring, and seeing what other people are left behind.